Our next guest is making a name for herself in Hollywood. San Antonio native Riley Rodriguez is here to talk to us about her acting career and her new role in the Paramount Plus's original series called Land Man. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How exciting Thank is you. that? It's so exciting. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So now let's talk about how did you get into acting here in San Antonio? Yes, I started acting at a local acting studio here. It was actually like theater. Okay. But uh, I, I did. A, it was my foundation, there and it was amazing. And then eventually, I realized I wanted to do on-screen acting, and so I started doing that. But I did theater for a while in middle school and all that. So cool. Yeah. And how supportive has your family been through the whole process? You know, I'm very blessed to have very a very supportive family and support system. Mm -hmm. uh, before self tapes were popular, my parents used to drive me all the time to in-person auditions whenever <sighs> I needed to. They would take me out of school to. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. You so, get out of school. Yeah. To go audition for things and right. family's just there you know to kind of support yes. you along the whole yes it's been very encouraging yeah encouraging, landman so. original yes. series paramount plus talk to us about what this is what you can mm -hmm. share yes yeah, so it's based off of a podcast called boomtown by christian wallace okay i haven't had the chance to actually dive into it myself mm -hmm. but i hear it was very successful and, and amazing and, and just a really good storyline it delves in the complexities of the oil industry so it's gonna be real nice. Oh, nice. and then we're also we were showing some photos there. Yes. So your character, you're the daughter, daughter of Demi Moore, who's also in this series. Talk yes. about what it was like working with her and, yes. and what you learned. It was amazing, you know, even though I didn't get to work with her extensively, like mm -hmm. too long, um, the amount of time that I got to work with her was such a rewarding experience. She's an iconic individual. Yes. And so, yeah, I think just sharing the screen with her, even for a little bit, is, is just so amazing. Something I'm going to take with me and value for the rest of my career. Did you sure. pick up any tips or anything maybe from her, maybe whether she told you or just by watching her? You know, just to be grounded and keep my feet on the ground, stay focused. Right. And just, you know, keep it pushing through everything, even the rejections that comes in. So Absolutely. She, we did have a, a great little talk, a little moment about that. She gave me great advice on that. So. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. What's a dream role for you now that you're kind of you're getting in there? Is there a dream role for you that you're like, I got to play this character? Right. I, I think well, something really cool would probably be like the Violet from The Incredibles. Oh, <laughs> OK. So random, yeah. But I think that would be cool. <laughs> um, but honestly, my dream projects would just be uh, working with people who are so passionate about what they do. And I feel like I'm already getting to do that. So it's just a dream come true. And I'm just enjoying everything that's coming along the way. And so, yeah, but just uh, projects that, and roles that, that uh, challenge me, uh, you know, as an actress and challenge my craft. So. Absolutely. Now, obviously, and you had mentioned, while you're doing all of these auditions, there's, there's going to be rejection along the way. How do you handle that? What advice would you have for maybe other actors out there that are like, listen, I've done 30 auditions and nothing. Right. Yeah, I would say it takes a lot of mental strength. So never put your worth or value in how many gigs you book. Mm -hmm. uh, a thousand percent. Um, prioritize your mental health and your confidence. Try to work on your, it does take a lot of confidence, I would say so. So uh, I would say work on that as much as you can. Yeah. Believe in yourself mm -hmm. um, more than anybody else, really. And and yeah, I think just not uh, identifying with with the rejection and all that. That that doesn't mean you know if you get rejected, which is going to happen. Right, it's going to happen. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's that's not uh, who you are. You are not the rejection, and so yeah, I think. For yeah, sure. and when you get rejected, you know it's. The door is closed, but you know, it's just redirecting you to where you're supposed to be. That's yeah. kind of how I look at things as well. Yeah, it's, it's just training your brain, you yeah. know what I mean? So I would say that uh, mental health, but yeah. And another piece of advice I would say is always keep your material sharp and yes. looking good. Your headshots, your resume, your reel. There you go. Um, always updating them, and so yeah. And, and staying on top of it. For actors out there, what words of advice do you have for them? Maybe whether it's locally or for your friends? Yeah, I would say there's uh, so many ins and outs to Hollywood. And so, uh, you know, just do what kind of, not necessarily feels right, but don't feel pressured to mm -hmm. do anything so mm -hmm. quickly and everything. Um, just keep your feet on the ground, surround yourself with the, the right people. Yeah. Uh, keep your circle small, I would say for sure. Definitely keep it small, <laughs> yes. that way you can stay focused. Right, yes. Well, Riley, yes. thank you so much. Good luck to everything and all of your success. You we so can't much. wait to catch the original series, the Paramount Plus show called Landman. It will be streaming November 17th, 
And if you would love to follow Riley on Instagram and catch all of the behind the scenes of her Hollywood journey, all you can do is head to Riley, that's her Instagram. It's at Riley, R-D-Z. Thank you again. Thank you so much for having me.